Hey guys, Andrew Dwight. Hey, we're going to talk about how to change the unit output from Plusbeg. So for instance, uh, you might be drawing in Imperial and wanting to take off in feet or inches and so on. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to do that very quickly. I'm going to give you an example. This model here was drawn in Imperial, however, oh, sorry, it was drawn in metric, however, I'm getting a feet output, a cubic feet output. And the same with my lumber, I'm getting linear feet output. And I actually want it, uh, in this instance, to be metric, so let's have a look. So all I have to do is I go up to my job tool, and if you see anything red here, fill it in and go file save as template, and therefore you'll never have to fill in your own details twice. However, that doesn't actually show us how to change uh, from feet uh, to inches or meters to feet. So I'm going to go back, and I like to, on this particular model, I want to quantify in meters. Okay, So I'm just changing my dialog units. I'm going to show you again how to get that in a second. All right, so I go submit and you'll notice that everything's changed. I'm going to close this down and I'm going to do my takeoff now. Now when I've done my takeoff I go to my concrete and I now have cubic meters instead of cubic feet. If I go to my framing I have linear meters and linear feet. I'm going to change it back again so you can see how I did that. All right, so start. You find the plus big, plus big um, toolbar. It could be docked up here. It could be docked over here. There's so many places it could be docked. Uh, right, so once you've found that, basically you click on the very first icon, which is the job tool. Click on job tool. You then go down and you go to your settings. Down the very, very bottom. Sometimes you'll find that this may be up here. Okay, so you might need to... Uh, adjust this or scroll down by using the scroll bar on the left. Okay, go to settings, which I've already done. It won't have the top of it there. Settings, and do it again. Right, open up. You may have to scroll down if this is up here. Okay, set. Go to. I want to change this now to feet, but I might also want to change it to yards or, or whatever. I'm going to go to feet, feet, submit. Okay, that means that basically we've saved what we've told it here. This is your library there, and I'm going to close this as well. Submit, take off. If I go to my concrete, I now have cubic feet. It's a huge time saver and very quick to do but once you have done it it is very important you go file save as template so I recommend actually starting up a blank SketchUp file going and filling in all the details here correctly and then going up to the top here and going file save as template that way all of your details will be saved for next time and all of your preferences will be saved for next time and it'll save you a heap of time getting the information out uh, now, just quickly, let's have a look at this model. This is a detailed model. It's for construction. Uh, when I did that takeoff, I did a takeoff of everything inside of that model, and it was done in seconds. Another quick tip: when you actually may only want to estimate certain things. So, for instance, if I only wanted to estimate what was in the roof here, I can go Control A. That means I selected all of the models, all of the the model. But I want to estimate this. So, if I said push shift and then get rid of everything down here I would hide my roof right so I'll go control A if I wanted to oops, control A if I push shift and I, shift and I want to estimate everything inside of the roof I'm going to go hide so right click hide or you can use a keyboard shortcut now all I'm going to estimate or quantify is what's inside of this roof. Now I'm going to do a takeoff. Okay, and now you'll see that it's only come up with uh, everything inside of here. So I might have my fascia takeoff, the linear feet of fascia, or if I wanted meters, I would change it back. My eaves or my roof trusses. I have every single roof truss in there that has been drawn inside the model. So it's a good uh, tip to understand anything you can see on your screen is everything that will estimate in plus spec 18 or plus spec 19. However, there are some improvements coming where essentially instead of having to do what I just did, I'll just uh, undo everything here. If I just wanted to estimate this, 
you'll find that we've got some really cool tools coming out so stay tuned to what's happening with Pluspec as far as estimating goes because we spend a lot of time in development uh, and research uh, to make sure that we can give you guys the output you require. Cheers guys, if you've got any questions ask them below, if you like the video press like, cheers.